yikes. Hi, my name is Birdie, and I am a professional artist. Uh, I have a game that I'm currently working on, and I also have a comic that I've been working on for a few years. And in general, I'm just like an illustrator as well. When I was 12 years old, my dad bought me a Wacom Intuos as a gift, and I ended up using that tablet for about mm, six years before switching to a Game One tablet that has a screen. And uh, I've really liked Wacom products since then, and even for a while, I was trying really hard to save up to buy a Cintiq. Now, I'm not trying to say I'm anybody important at all, because frankly, I haven't worked in the industry, so to speak. I mean, it was a dream of mine for a long time to do that, but really, I'm just an indie artist. I take commissions, I work on my comic, games, whatever, and that's what I do. But I thought I'd give you a little backstory about me, because I do have a little history with Wacom stuff, or wanting Wacom stuff, being invested in Wacom, so to speak. If you don't know what Wacom is, they're a drawing tablet company that's been around for about 40 years, I think. Their entire consumer base is artists, and their products are expensive and industry standard, so this is not some small company. They make a lot of money off of artists specifically, and they've been the juggernaut of drawing tablets for many, many years. And I say that their consumer base is specifically artists because I really don't know why else you would buy one of these tablets if you're not drawing. I guess I've seen some people suggest taking notes with them and stuff, but the high-end tablets, like the, the most expensive one, like nobody taking notes, let me put it this way, nobody taking notes is going to be spending like $3,000 or more on a tablet like this, right? Uh, it is specifically artists. Even their lower-end tablets like the Intuos that I had when I was younger are like 40 to 50 dollars and some even reaching into the hundred dollars and these tablets the Intuos do not have a screen you have to look up at your con your um, computer screen while you draw. It's really interesting to me that the Intuos cost as much money nowadays because when I was younger and I know inflation and everything but when I was younger I'm pretty sure I got my my dad bought me my Intuos for maybe 30 dollars. It was like their cheapest one I'm pretty sure I'm not 100% sure like it was many many years ago but they're pretty pricey now the pro is in the $300 range so they're they're definitely expensive tablets People are mad because Wacom decided to use AI imaging as their advertisement images for their drawing tablet. In general, nobody should be using AI imagery as their advertising tool, but the the absolute irony that a drawing tablet company is using AI imagery is a little bit absurd. AI images are basically images made by an AI. Uh, it's pretty forward. A lot of people will call it AI art. I prefer to call it AI images. We'll get into that later. But uh, basically, it was a machine that was trained off of millions of people's, thousands, millions of people's images and artwork to, in order to make images itself. So that is what AI images are, and I'll get into later why people have a problem with that. The way that AI images are made, if it's not clear, is basically people type up uh, what are called prompts. Like they'll say, beautiful anime girl on beach. That's a really simplified version of this, but beautiful anime girl on beach. And then the, the machine will poop out a beautiful anime girl on a beach or something like that. That is how they're made. They don't require any skill. So the way to tell if an image is AI is not always easy because AI has sadly gotten a lot better at what it does. However, with these images, it's incredibly easy to tell. One way to tell if an image is AI is that AI usually leaves behind what is called artifact. And that's basically like all this weird stuff here. Also, another way to tell if an image is AI is if you zoom in on an actual artist's piece, you'll see details. That makes sense. While if you zoom in, to an AI image. A lot of the time the details make absolutely no sense. Things are messed up, like on this dragon, his tail isn't even connected to his body. Things are just messed up and it doesn't look like a human being would draw that. As I said before, this machine was trained off of millions of images and artworks, and sadly, it was trained without any consent uh, from anybody. And as far as I'm aware, you can't, t like, you can't 
opt out after they put you in. At least not without them doing all this work that they're just not gonna do. So that's one problem. Another problem is is that large companies using this technology, using other people's, especially large companies, but anybody, using this technology and using other people's hard work, the work that they spent years developing instead of actually paying people, is just not right. These machines could literally not exist without the artist whose work was taken without any type of permission and put into them. You might think, well, what's the difference between this and somebody being inspired? Well, for one, two artists can have very similar art styles and have literally never seen each other before, while this machine can only do specific art styles off of specific artists. And people themselves are brain don't work like an AI because the AI has thousands of millions of images and we don't have that. We just have our life experiences and we have our memories and sometimes we have references, but it's not the same as an AI. The AI is only able to exist because work that didn't belong to the people that made it was put into it and these people were not given any type of compensation and they were not asked any type of permission. So so knowing that, it kind of makes sense that people are so angry at Wacom considering the fact that their entire company, the only reason their company exists and makes the money that they make is because of artists, because of the hard work artists have done, and because they're using their products. And frankly, it really doesn't make any sense that a company like them would even use AI generated imagery in the first place. Like I was saying in the beginning, there was a reason that I was uh, talking about the tablets and Wacom and how much their tablets cost because nobody but an artist is going to spend over $3,000 on a drawing tablet and they're making all of that money and people do buy these things. I mean, I was saving up to buy one of these things. The only reason they're making that kind of money is because of artists. The reason that I call AI images uh, images instead of art, and you can call it whatever you want, but the reason I do that is because I do not see it as art at all. I think art is a part of human expression, and I don't think having a robot do it for you uh, is that. I think that you need to go and form your own opinion about this. I highly, highly suggest doing research into this if you're curious but this is the reason that people are angry and uh, I think it is worth looking at if you're curious about this stuff. Wacom's response is, um, well, I'm trying not to put my opinion in this too much before I get to that part, but uh, I think we can all agree that this is pretty pitiful. It reads, Dear Wacom community, you have pointed out to us that we may have incorporated AI-generated images into our New Year's marketing assets. We hear your concerns and questions. We know you are upset that it's taken us this long to address the situation. We needed time to investigate and get the facts right. We want to ensure you that using AI AI generated images and th these assets was not our intent. Here is what happened. Wacom purchased these images through a third party vendor where it was indicated that they were not AI generated. We vetted the images through a few popular online tools that also indicated that they were not AI generated. However, given the community's feedback, we are now not sure how the images were created. For this reason, we immediately discontinued their use. We are very grateful to be part of the creative community, and we appreciate your feedback and collective knowledge in this field, and for holding us accountable as a partner for artists around the world. Wacom supports human creativity and strives to serve the community with integrity. We are reviewing and updating our process so that we can avoid this happening again. Thank you for hearing us out. Sincerely, the Wacom team. So if you were just here for a recap, that was the recap of the drama. Uh, Wacom decided to use AI images in their New Year's advertising. Everybody's mad about that. That's what happened. All right, so this is where I'm going to tell you my opinion on all of this. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? 
why would a drawing tablet company use AI generated images to advertise a drawing tablet? That has to be like borderline false advertising. Like what kind of world do we live in? When I see the ads for these things, I automatically assume the art on the tablet is drawn using the tablet. Not to mention that if this whole AI nonsense ends up like really taking off the way these AI bros want us to believe, then Wacom would kind of go out of business. Like you don't need a tablet in order to make AI art. You literally don't need it. Now, some people were saying crap about like sketching out your idea and then running it through the AI, but that is nonsense because nobody that's doing that is gonna spend $3,000 on a tablet. That's ridiculous. Now. To give Wacom the benefit of the doubt really fast, because, you know, it's only the right thing to do, the, okay, the stock image that they bought on the original page, it was not marked as AI. I went to check, actually, the original page got nuked. I have no idea what happened to it, but I actually checked and other people checked and it was not marked the way it should be. However... As other people have stated, I put those tweets in at the beginning for a reason because a lot of them were parroting my exact thoughts. The thing that you use to check if they're AI is literally just your eye. If the dragon's tail is literally laying next to him, it's laying next to him. In my opinion, this was just a matter of them not caring at all. What they should have done was commission an artist to use their tablet. It was that easy, and that's what they should do if they're advertising a drawing tablet. It is that easy to just hire an artist. Literally, they could have gotten it for free, which I don't agree with at all. I mean, maybe for in exchange for the tablet they're advertising, whatever, but they easily could have paid somebody to just draw the piece. Uh, I'm sure it wouldn't have been as cheap as the AI stock photos, but it sure would have saved their reputation. So I think it comes down to them just not caring. I think it was, they knew it was AI, but they were just hoping nobody would notice. Yep, that's it. That is all. Uh, that's the video. Uh, I would love to know you guys' opinion on this. Personally, I don't think I'm going to be supporting Wacom for a while, at least. I really don't see me attempting to buy their products in the future. I have my drawing tablet. Uh, I like the Geomon brand. It's a good brand, so I'll probably be sticking with them. But I would love to know your opinion on this and what you think. If you think it was an actual accident, or if you're like me and you think that they just literally didn't care. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.